Hello MaxTubers, welcome back to my channel. As per the request of some of my viewers, today we will be watching a video of pop star royalty Miss Sarah Geronimo together with Asia songbird Miss Regine Velasquez performing one of the former's earlier hits entitled How Could You Say You Love Me? They sang this in their unified concert earlier this year. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at max underscore two. Likewise, please hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, I will be providing you the link above. Check it out. Time for some quick shout outs. Hello to Asher Geronimo from Makati City, Paolo Hugado, and Arian Romero. Hope you guys enjoy this video today. I still remember when this song first came out sometime in the year 2004. As most of you know, she won first place in uh, the television singing contest uh, Star for a Night. That was two years prior to the release of this song, with her winning piece To Love You More, which is a Celine Dion original. Because of the similarities in their tones, um, the local music industry started to build her up uh, to be the country's answer to Celine Dion. So when I first heard um, this song, I thought to myself, yeah, she does sound a lot like Celine, even the way she delivered it. But as I've said in one of my previous videos, we cannot blame her for that. Cause she's young. She was a teenager and she had to follow the image being imposed to her by her label, her management, as she was just starting out her career. Okay, enough talk for now. So if you guys are ready, let's get things started. By the way, if you want to enjoy the full video, the entire video uninterrupted without my comments, please head to the channel of Just Vic TV where I got this video from. Again, Just Vic TV. Before watching this with you today, I had to re-watch uh, the original version, the 2004 version, uh, so I can make some comparisons if necessary. But so far, her tone sounds really, really good here. Uh, light yet rich, which for me is a gorgeous combination. Let's continue. Can somebody please share with me down below what just happened here? Why did she start laughing and stop singing? Because even with what Regine said, I still didn't get it. I'm sorry. Tell me down below. I don't understand why some haters are bashing her. Well, maybe that's why they're called haters. But I think her voice sounds lovely, especially in recent years. Uh, in fact, 
I love her voice better now than when she first started, to be honest. Needless to say, Regine sounds amazing. So soft and vulnerable. Listen to the way she delivered the phrase, how could you try pretending? It's like she's almost about to break down and cry. Just beautiful. Let's continue. Two perfect voices together. Let me just say that I think Sarah's head voice is so underrated. She has the ability to make it sound like what I said earlier, rich and full in texture, full of body, yet light, which suits this particular moment very, very well. Moving on. This is really nice. Just love it. Great vocal restraint from both of them. I sincerely believe that Regine and Sarah are two of the few artists who are not only fantastic singers, but also great listeners. They are able to blend incredibly well with one another and it takes a good ear and a whole lot of vocal control to be able to achieve this balance. By the way, blending doesn't occur only when you are singing two vocal parts, uh, for example, soprano or alto. It also applies to singing in unison. How you make your voices come together as one. Let's get back to the video. I am so in love with the way Sarah sang this line. I can almost feel the pain in her voice. The same way that I loved Regine's How Could You Try Pretending verse earlier. Especially adore the way she did uh, the line, uh, hurt me this way, everything in one single breath. Moving on. How could you try? If you ask me, people do not give enough importance to being a good listener. The best vocal coaches will tell you that this is actually one of the most important skills you need to possess in order to successfully pull off a duet, a trio, or a group number. And this, this is the perfect example, the output of two good listeners making beautiful music together. So very nice. A lot of people think that singing alto parts is easy. 
it's actually not. Without the melody, in this case Sarah's part, Regine's alto part on its own will sound out of tune. Why? Simply because that is how most alto parts are written. It is meant to sound good together with the melody, but not on its own. If you listen to the alto parts only, you will find that there are a lot of weird sounding notes in between. That is why any choir master will tell you that learning alto parts is extremely hard and Regine being a soprano is pulling it off. Again, I love how their voices just came together as one. It's almost impossible to tell their voices apart. Although personally, I would have appreciated it more if there were more alto parts in this particular segment. Oh my lord, this is just too good. D5, D sharp 5, F5 in one single breath from Sarah. That's great. Since this is a Sarah Geronimo original, I think Regine intentionally took the back seat and allowed her to shine. And she did. But actually, in their own ways, both of them did. A lot of F5s there for Sarah, and she did amazing hitting all these. I think Sarah's voice now has more depth, more emotions. Of course, she has gained more life experiences over the years. So I believe she is able to use these to inject more feelings into any song she performs. For this particular number, they obviously gave Sarah the lead role and Regine taking the supportive role. And I think both of them did an outstanding job. Regine didn't get lost uh, in her supporting role. At the same time, she never tried to outshine Sarah. Now, comparing this to uh, the original 2004 version, let us first take out um, the parts of Regine and concentrate on Sarah's performance since um, this is her original song. I think I like her rendition now better. Maybe because now I can hear her, not another artist. In the original version, she sounded too much like Celine Dion. Again, the sound imposed to her at the time. So I am very glad that she is now able to 
freely express this song her own way, which is also more heartfelt and more sincere. So if you guys love this song and this duet version, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell me your thoughts down below. With that, thank you all for watching and please remember to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max2. Stay safe and happy everyone. Looking forward to see you guys again in my next episode.